Hey everybody, this is Mr. B, and welcome to my read aloud. I am reading today one of my favorite books growing up, The Giving Tree, by a guy named Shel Silverstein. Shel is one of my favorite authors growing up, and The Giving Tree, other than Curious George, is one of my favorite books of all time. Let's read. The Giving Tree. You can see my name stamped in that book. I've had this book a while. By Shel Silverstein. This book is dedicated for Nikki, and I don't think you can see the date, but it was written in 1964, the year I was born. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. Looks a little like me. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns. And play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. and swing from her branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. Excuse me. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, one day, the boy came to the tree. And the tree said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. Eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. Then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said, and I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build a house. And the tree was happy. But 
the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. I learned as a kid that if you give your life away, you'll find great happiness. Great story that tells about it. Thanks, Shell. The Giving Tree.